Hey guys, it's Marcus here from blogprofitnetwork.com. And what you want to do is go to blogprofitnetwork.com, put your name and email in the box. That way you can be updated of my latest videos, tricks, tools, templates, and all the cool stuff that I give you to help you make money online with your blog and with anything else. So go on over there, put your name and email in the box. And uh, for right now, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Okay, so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to make a high converting banner ad using only Microsoft Word and a program called Snagit. Now you can also use the Google, or I'm sorry, the um, Microsoft snipping tool, um, but I like to use Snagit because it allows me to edit things a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Microsoft Word and we are going to use the Snagit program which allows us to capture screenshots and uh, everything like that. So what we're going to do first and foremost is we are going to determine what our goal of the banner is. Okay. Now w the way that we want to determine the goal is by looking at the site we are either going to run the banner on or our own site and understand the customer. Okay, so if we're on a site, let's say for losing weight, maybe it's like a weight loss forum or something like that, what we want to do is we want to notice the colors, the layout, and different things to kind of make our banner fit in with the content and to get the attention of the people. Right? We don't want our banner to look like a banner, we want it to look like part of the content. And I've actually used this method and gotten such good results that one banner network actually took my ad off because we were getting so much traffic uh, the advertiser, the uh, the publisher was getting irritated that we were taking all this traffic. So this stuff works, just don't use all of it because you might get too much traffic. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to really start with these things. So let's say we are going to target the weight loss market and instead of doing something like, hey, click here to lose weight or weight loss or whatever, we're going to say something like show me how to lose okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our snag it and grab this little box and we're gonna copy it let's see I think that'll copy it 10 pounds in and then we can do something like in 10 days or whatever okay or we could do 10 pounds in seven days, right? And what this is going to do is it's going to have them click on this, right? They're going to be interested and they're going to say, oh, wow, you know, I want to lose, uh, you know, 20 pounds in seven days or whatever it is. Now, the way that you make a banner is you basically just get your sizing correct, right? So we could do uh, click here for your free weight loss report. Okay, and luckily Microsoft fixes our, oops, weight loss, fixes our uh, spelling here. Okay, so let's see, weight loss, there we go, and we'll just capitalize this. Now, what we want to do is we always want to make our links blue and underlined because that's what people are used to. So we're going to go ahead and use this, right, like this, oh, wrong blue, let's see, we'll get uh, the blue blue here, we need the right blue. Um, let's see here, where did it go? There we go. Okay, so something like this. All right, click here for your free weight loss report. Now, in order to make this a banner, it's super, super simple. All you do is you hit print screen because if you have Snagit installed and running, all you got to do is hit print screen. And what's going to happen is it's going to give you a sizing chart. See how it says 1073 by 642? So all we want to do is make this as close to our banner as possible. So if we're going to do like a, um, let's say we're going to do a 468 by 90. All right, that's a pretty popular size. What we'll do is we'll go as, as close as possible, like that, and we just let go. Okay, so now we got 470 by 91, and then we just kind of shape it up here by dropping this down, and then we could drop this down to 468, right, like this. Yep, let's see, sometimes it's a little pain. Uh, let's see, okay. 
There we go, 468 by 77, right? And then we can just kind of shape it up the way that we want it uh, by, you know, editing it and everything like that. Very, very simple. And then, of course, all we do is save it, and we have a banner ad. Very, very simple. Okay, you could do this with tons of different things. Let's say we wanted to make a uh, tall banner for, like, uh, WordPress or something like that, or maybe it's a, a skyscraper banner, right? We could do something like... Something like, let's say we do uh, 50 pounds over weight. Click here to learn. Click here to start shedding. And my dog agrees here. Shedding pounds fast. Okay, and then you could do something like, uh, let's say, 100 pounds overweight. All right, put some question marks in there. Right, and what you can do is you can actually have these here, like this. And let's see, okay, get this here. Okay, and then basically all you got to do is, is highlight these underline them, make them blue, right, like that, highlight, underline blue, okay, and then of course same thing, we'll just go ahead and hit ignore, ignore, that way it's not correcting the spelling there, right, like that, okay, and then all you would do is take your size and hit print screen, and just go ahead and take that portion there. Right, and then that's going to be your banner ad. Obviously, all you got to do is shape it up to the size that you want. You can see here we have 250 by 260, so we could easily make this like a 250 by 250 if we wanted to. Right, super simple, and then it's ready to go. All you got to do is upload it to the banner network or upload it on your uh, blog or website. Very, very simple, very easy to do, um, and takes nothing, right? It takes just a couple seconds to do, um, and you can basically do whatever you want. Now, if you have images, let's say you wanted to put an image in there, right? All you would do is just go to where your images are, okay? So let's say we had um, an image, let's say we wanted like this email box or whatever, right? All you would do is just make this the size you want, put your text next to it, um, let's say getting too much junk mail, check out this free filter. All right, dot, dot, dot. All right, and then you just basically put a link here. All right, and notice how these look like part of the website content. And I'll show you how this works uh, in a really cool way. So watch what's going to happen here is we're basically just going to print screen. All right, like this. Okay, we get our sizing right, obviously match it with whatever banner size you're using, and uh, you can go and find out wherever that is uh, on your site, or if you're going to like buysellads.com or something like that, uh, you could go in there and, and find out what the sizes are simply by looking at the different things here, um, and you can go to like, you know, whatever you want to see here, let's say, okay, here's one with 29,000 impressions, and it's going to tell you the size, so 300 by 250, 468 by 60, 300 by 100, so you're just making your banner to fit this, and as I showed you earlier, whether it's your site or someone else's site, what you want to do is you want to make it look good for them, right, so if I was going to go for something like this graphic burger, Okay, what I would do is I would take a look at, okay, well, what are people uh, interested in on this site? And we'll wait for it to load here. There we go. So basically what we want to do is we want to look at the site, find out where the banner is going to be. Okay, so we could look for the banner here. Let's see if it's on this page. Okay, so here's the banner here. Okay, so create free websites, click here. Okay, so it looks like this is mostly about, like, icons and stuff. Okay, and here's some banners here as well. Okay, so what we would want to do is we want to make it as close as possible to the actual look of the site. Okay, so we could basically go in and say, okay, well, we want it gray because the background's gray. Um, we want to, like, make it, you know, maybe previous and next button would be good. Okay, so we could just kind of snag this here. All right, like this. Okay, and we can literally just take this and copy it and then go to our page again, 
Okay, and then all we have to do is hit uh, Page Properties. Let's see if we can make uh, the page a different color here. I think there's a way to do a background. Okay, create new theme colors. I believe there is a background somewhere. Okay. Okay, cool. So here we go. It's right up here. And all we'd have to do is go like this, get the gray, right like that, okay? And then all we'd have to do is paste in the previous next, and obviously you can make it uh, fit that color as close as possible. All right, we could just kind of lighten it up a little bit, like this. Okay, cool, that looks like it right there. Okay, so we basically just put those in there. All right, see how that totally matches there? And then all we'd have to do is hit something and make maybe if we had the icons or whatever like this we could put those icons in there and basically it would look like okay hey here's some icons uh, click below to get more right and very simple there's our banner ad okay and people are gonna click this because it's super super simple to use obviously we would have different things not just a bunch of mailboxes but imagine seeing this on this page rather than something like this, right? Now it looks like, hey, here's some other icons. These are really cool. And chances are they're going to click the next button, and bam, as soon as they click, they are on your page. You know, kind of like this uh, 2800 icons, but we're doing it a little bit better. Okay, very, very cool. So basically that's what you want to do in Microsoft Word. And then if we were to take and put this on our blog, all we'd have to do is, is capture it. Okay, so let's say we capture this guy here save it we'll do file save as and we're gonna call it let's call it um, banner test dot gif okay we'll just save it on our desktop so it's easier okay and then when we go into our blog if we wanted to add this all we have to do is hit posts add new right like this and we're gonna do um, we're gonna do banner We'll do how to create a banner ad in Word. Okay, and then if we wanted to add the banner here, all we'd have to do is hit Add Media, Upload Files, Select, and then we select our file from the desktop, right like this. There we go, and it'll upload it and then you just go ahead and you'll link it to your site so if you want to link it to like your affiliate program or another site you can just put whatever you want we'll put um, let's put same day blogs.com right like that and we'll hit insert into post and then basically it just goes ahead and inserts it like this publish right like that and now we have a lovely banner right like that See how that looks like part of the content rather than a banner that's screaming, hey, don't click me because I'm an ad? Very, 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 very easy to use, very cool. And this is how you make a banner uh, in Microsoft Word. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go to um, the link in the box of this video. So on YouTube, you're going to see a link. It's going to look a lot like this, blogprofitnetwork.com slash banner. That's blogprofitnetwork.com slash banner banner and what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you some templates tricks and tools so you could start making your own banner ads whether you're gonna run them on other sites or whether you're gonna run them on your site so if you want that toolkit go to blogprofitnetwork.com slash banner put your name and email in the box I'm gonna give you that kit for free and with the hopes that you're gonna get stuff down the road because I know you love my training and you wanna make a lot of money so cool stuff go ahead and go to blogprofitnetwork.com slash banner we got some other videos for you some tools and a download pack of templates. All right, see you in the next video. Thanks again, and let's make money. blogprofitnetwork.com slash banner.